Hello YouTube. Um, just because uh, it's about time for me to uh, replace the batteries on this, the laser inside of this Smith & Wesson bodyguard are getting a little bit weak. So I, knew, I realize there's a, there's a few videos on YouTube that cover it. Um, but first and foremost, the type of batteries you guys are going to need are the 357 batteries. Um, sometimes if you're just assuming, you might assume with a smaller box in here, it may be smaller, but these are the ones that you want. I'm only wearing gloves because as I replace batteries and things like this, I try to not have any uh, of the oils from my hands or salts from my hands touch them uh, at the time. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, I was just going to go ahead and, and quickly show you guys this and... Uh, go from there. So uh, I find that uh, the small, I here where I live, I got a place called Harbor Freight. You can also get shit like this on uh, online if you don't have the proper hex keys. The smaller bits in here are going to be uh, adequate to extract the screw and then also pop up the little laser plate that's in there. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll cover that here in a second. Uh, take the pistol down. So off safe, obviously clear. Um, go back to here, flip the little lever. Okay, slide is away. I'm just gonna leave that on the table since it's clean. Here's your uh, your little laser port inside of there. That's the little uh, kind of hex screw that you're gonna need. And again, if you don't have the proper Allen keys, there are in a pinch, since it's not something that's gonna take a tremendous amount of torque. Let's see here. I find that the small little, if you can focus, kind of see it, T, uh, T5 bit works pretty well so this just goes down in here just unscrew it sorry the camera's uh, mounted to the table there get that sucker unscrewed now this is a long screw so when it doesn't automatically come out like that don't be surprised it's kind of retained in there since the the base of this uh, is a little bit thicker than the hole where the screw goes through and actually you can use this as leverage to pop the whole unit up so I take this guy off, I set it right here. I just take another one of the small like uh, jeweler or watch style of flatheads. Now I, I wouldn't crank on this if it's giving you some guff, I'd really make sure that this was <clears throat> properly unscrewed, but you can use this as leverage to pop this up. And then once I kind of get that, can pop her out there. So here's the, uh, here's the batteries right there and the screw I'm talking about. You can see the little bit of thickness as to why it doesn't uh, come out. That, uh, that would be why. So we'll set this here for the time being and open these suckers up. Easier said than done. Come on, you little bitch. Starting little fucking piece of shit. Get some scissors here. A little bubble packaging that it's in. Get that little fucker out. Hey, the packaging's probably fucking harder to get uh, the battery out than the the goddamn battery tray inside of the gun. Jesus Christ, I almost kind of got to have tiny little baby hands to get these motherfuckers open. <clears throat> yeah, that's definitely that's definitely a little bit harder than uh, the goddamn tray. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Got these little bitches out. So next, pay attention to the orientation of, uh, of how the batteries are facing. So that little bubble portion is facing this way. So I'm just going to pop these suckers out. Also, inside of here, you have plus and minus. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. Okay, my two old ones. Here's my new ones. Right in here. Okay, fit perfect, just like that. And then this has just a teeny bit of uh, 
finagling. I guess you, you could clean inside of there depending on how dirty it is, but I'm not gonna do that. Get that screw oriented into there. Actually, it might just be easier to come straight down with it. All right, goddamn. All right, and then this just snugs up. A little bit of tension in there. Okay, I'm not gonna do a farmer tight. I actually don't know what the torque specs on here. I also don't wanna strip that out. Test it. Oh yeah, nice and bright. Strobe. There we go. And that's basically it. So pretty, pretty damn easy. Minus opening the fucking package. Worked out pretty damn well. We'll just get this in here. Just like that. Test for function. Okay. Dry fire. There we go. Laser one more time. Yep. Nice and bright. There we are. And that's basically it. So minus all the, uh, the bullshit and opening my fucking packages and whatnot, uh, for the batteries, uh, Installs pretty darn easy if you have one of these. I don't know if I would opt to ever get this one with the laser. It, it just kind of adds an extra level of, uh, uh, you know, maintenance to it. Um, the other thing that I like to do that I keep with a lot of my guns is when I replace batteries and flashlights and lasers is I keep a, a note on my phone as well as a hard copy. And then I put that inside of, um, you know, the kit. So I have a bunch of spare parts and mags for this guy uh, and then a few others. I just write them down in case for some reason I forget, but also the date. Uh, and then the amount, just in case I'm out shopping and buying stuff, it just gives me the ability to uh, 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 kind of retain that information so I can kind of keep track of everything. But that's about it. So, I mean, all in all, probably a five minute process, maybe even less. I'd say opening these little fucking bitches are probably the, uh, the hardest thing in the entire process. And anyway, that's uh, that's about it. So basically, it takes all of maybe five minutes or so. Again, those batteries are the 357 uh, style of batteries. In fact, this entire process takes about five minutes, and the packages are probably harder to open than this entire process. Now, ideally, again, I don't think that this guy is, is going to be necessarily meant for that. Um, also, not a tremendous amount of torque is required uh, to get them undone. I just need something to unscrew it. Ideally, you'd probably want the proper Allen wrench for that, uh, which is fairly tiny so if you have a whole set of those well then you're set but if you don't the harbor freight with the little uh, t5 uh, worked for me and also i think i had the actual appropriate one in there i just went ahead and grabbed what what fit uh, and gave me enough tension to to unscrew it but uh, anyway thank you guys for watching and uh take care